What's up guys, it's Kayvon with Functional Fitness VA and today we're gonna to do the adductor side plank. So we're gonna be working the top legs adductor while at the same time the bottom side lat and oblique-ish area. Um, we're gonna need a bench for this. Uh, the bench is best because you got room to go underneath it with the bottom leg. Uh, you could potentially use something without it but it gets a little trickier. So I'm gonna put the bench kind of going across my knee here, or more so my knee on the bench with it going across my knee. You could slide it further down the shin or slide yourself away from it. That makes it tougher. It also could potentially put a little torque on your knee. So my re recommendation is you always start with your knee on the bench. Now, bottom elbow is in the ground directly underneath my shoulder and I push my hips up. If that arm is too far away, it's going to be unpacking the shoulder and sliding out. So keep it underneath you. Now hips go up, bottom leg straight and long or slightly bent. Doesn't matter. We want it off the ground. Then I'm going to go up and down with that bottom leg. That's kind of doing it for reps to measure how long you're on here. You could also pull it out in front. Again, doing it for reps to measure how long you're on here. All right. All this is with me keeping my hip up so that adductor works of the top leg, all right? I don't want to push down on the bench, not forward, because I don't want it to tilt. If it's too tough, you could always slide a little closer to the bench. So hip pushes up and then down. Here I'm doing it for reps, all right? So I dig my elbow into the ground, drive my hip up by working my adductor on that top leg. I'm going to say that 20 more times for you, by the way, adductor on the top leg. Um, but that's what we're after. Right, so digging that bench down as you push your hips up. On this one, I tuck my knee in. I got plenty of space. This is a demo if you have something like a, a couch or a bed. You can tuck the foot behind too. That gets a little trickier for me. Um, but again, whatever gives you space so that you could do it on something that doesn't have an opening underneath it like the bench here. I would then flip sides to do the other side. So here's a look from the back. Again, dig that knee down, drive the hips up, elbows in the ground, top leg adductor working, bottom side lat and oblique working to keep me up. So that's the adductor side plank. Give it a shot. Again, as you get better at it, you could slide away from the bench a little to make it harder, but just make sure the knee stays happy and safe here. Thanks, guys.